Good morning. Wrong one. <laughs> Welcome to the Jag Corner. I'm running a bit slow the, today. Um, setting up this Lynx thing is new to me, so please bear with me. I actually have one part of my streaming setup still uh, adjusting right now, so... Um, well, still booting, technically. I have a separate computer on a monitor that's in front or below the monitor that I play on that I usually have a chat on and so it's actually an Atari VCS and I have Linux booting off of an external hard drive on it but you have to make sure that you go into the boot select menu wallet before it boots into the Atari VCS OS and I hadn't been in that for a while and so it started running updates and updates take forever on the VCS and so I, I was waiting for those Oh, in fact, it didn't go through again. That's weird. Let's see if I can... Went into the VCS OS again. So please bear with me as I get this figured out. Um, while it's... Hopefully, maybe... I'll try to do two things here at once. See how well that goes. Power. And we're just going to turn you off completely. There we go. Anyways, yeah, we're going to play some Link stuff today. I, I have a pile of homebrew from like the last three years, or two years, um, that we're just going to, I'm going to go through one folder, we're going to start with it, and just go through and play some games. So, anyways, uh, and right now, what you see down there in the bottom corner is running off my links. I have uh, the McWill mod, uh, LCD mod in one of my links, and I didn't have the VGA hooked up for the longest time, but... Um, Hey Matt, good morning. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing some Lynx too. I've been wanting to do this on the channel for a long time. And uh, one sec. Um, but I, I don't like using emulators and it seems like some of these games only work, especially the homebrew stuff, only some of them work in specific emulators. And so I don't want to be going through um, specific emulators and for each game and, and so having actual hardware ensures that at least most of the games are going to boot without a problem. Uh, we may have to work without my chat setup. I'll just have to keep an eye on the chat out of the corner of my eye. Okay. Anyways, yeah, so Link's Games here in just a minute. Before we get to that though, uh, there are a couple news items. Uh, let me... Switch over to that. Uh, be sure to sign up for the newsletter. Uh, that same spiel. Uh, actually went and updated the videos on the homepage. I should just get a plugin that automatically does that, but um, I'm a little cheap that way. I haven't wanted to uh, pay for a plug. You basically have to pay for the plugins that are available right now. Um, I guess I could see if I could program my own thing, but um, I just figured it's worth it just to go in every few weeks and update that front page with a new set of videos but uh yeah sign up for the newsletter there's some exclusive content that happens with that and i need to get a new newsletter out here soon um so i'll i'll be i'll be doing that soon i'll be putting that newsletter together soon um in way of news uh, this one's kind of exciting there's at least for me is there's a new version of rmac so rmac is the um it uh it converts uh, assembler code into binary so you can actually um, run your programs on various platforms. Uh, in my case, it's the Jaguar, but it supports a, a whole host of other Atari platforms, including the ST and the Atari 8-bit systems. So uh, just set up updates. I'm not going to be going through all these. If you want to read through, th 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 read through some of these yourself, you can do that. There's um, the, the only thing that was really interesting to me is that there's... Um, uh, that they changed uh, the optimization flag strategy, just how that's done, how that's inputted. Um, anyways, and, and there's other little fixes and, and stuff like that. And it looks like there might be another version update here soon. Uh, Bastion Chic um, has some updates uh, that weren't applied to this most recent update to RMAC, and so those will probably be shifted in eventually as well. And, and I did test this new version of RMAC with my uh, setup script for Linux uh, Atari Jaguar development um, and it works just fine. It builds jlibc and the removers library without an issue and I ran it with my example programs 
uh, in that setup script and and it works just fine so which is uh, which is always nice <laughs> I don't have to go through and update anything on my github or anything like that so uh, that's pretty much it for news um, I got a lot of, uh, of interaction on yesterday's video at least on Twitter and and uh, had had uh, CJ uh, of reboot. Uh, he's like, you can you can access the levels from the option menu. So, <laughs> and we figured that out yesterday. So I was just a little bit slow figuring that out. Um, I, I I was thinking about last strike quite a bit yesterday, and I was like during stream I was definitely visibly frustrated with it. But it's actually I re it is a fun game. It, it really is. It's just one of those you have to put the time in to. It's just it's difficult. It's it's. You know, I, I, I've thought about this before. You have what's called arcade difficult in my mind. This is just all my opinion. Um, where you have these games that are designed to take your quarters. And and then, uh, uh, then you have like old... Well... Maybe I need to think through this some more because you have what you have that that trope of Nintendo hard, right? And and where you have to put the time in, but sometimes there's just an unfairness to it as well because of the mechanics. And then you have a game like Last Strike where it's it's hard, but it is fair, like mechanically, except for the there were two things that that bugged me. I can't remember what it was. Uh, one of them was the turning. I can't remember the second one, but. Um, other than that, it's completely fair. You just have to just have to get good, right? But uh, I play tested it, and I'm still bad at it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a tough game. And here's the thing: I, I one of my favorite favorite Atari ST games is a shooter. It's a horizontal and a vertical shooter, just like Last Strike. It's Blood Money, done by uh, oh, who did that? Uh, um, oh darn it! I should know. DMA Design. Um, uh, which went on to do all sorts of other games, if I remember right. They, didn't they didn't they turn into Rare or something? I can't remember. Um, anyways, uh, but yeah, that's one of my favorite games. And I've never come close to beating... I don't even think I've beaten a single level on that, ever. I, I should probably sit down and, and do that one of these days. But it is hard. It is really hard because it's basically a game of memorization. And so Last Strike is kind of like that but you can't really memorize the levels like there's patterns you can memorize and you kind of do that as you go along um, but they mix and match and so there's never a, an exact uh, way of playing it and so so it makes it a little more difficult to get good at it but uh it's fun and the other thing i need to try is i need to try playing it with just a standard d-pad i imagine it's probably a little bit easier uh with that because i was using um, I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, let me cam large. I, I was using this. Um, somebody was modding. I can't remember who was doing these sticky uh, or clicky sticks on them. And it's actually really nice for some games. Um, but it seems like you need this, a little bit tighter movement on last strike to make sure you're not hitting your environment. Uh, obviously, that's the case. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyways, it's it, it was a fun game, but today we're gonna be uh, playing some uh, Atari Lynx games, and some of these are um, more frustrating or funner than others. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Glass half full, right? Um, and we're we're not gonna. I don't think we're gonna be doing anything with the Christmas games today. Um, seemed a little, uh, little uh, just out of theme. Uh, maybe we'll do that around Christmas. I've, I've actually been wanting to do that around Christmas. I've, I've had that thought before, and so we'll probably hold that off until around December sometime. Um, but we will be looking, I think we'll be looking, we may get to these 2020 games. Um, and the 2019 games. It seemed like I wanted to do the 2019 games. There's some really interesting games to play there but the ones and i don't know why he doesn't have it on here oh so, so we're looking at atarigamer.com and atari gamer he keeps track of the atari the atari link stuff really really closely um definitely worth going and looking at his website i believe he has a newsletter of some sort if not he's always active on social media he's always posting about links games and doing little trivia things and definitely worth worth the follow um, 
I just wanted to find the collection. I downloaded it from here, so I know it's on here somewhere. I'm a little surprised. Maybe I'm just missing it here. 2020 competition. No, there's a... Let's see here. Yeah, he doesn't have the 30th birthday. Homebrew highlights. Let's see if we can find it there. Um, no, I'm not seeing it there either. Let me see if I can find it. I can't remember uh, where it is. Lynx Jam 2021. Okay, so we're going to be looking at this one. Um, which has, uh, what is that, six games? We'll be going through all these today. And then, um, let's see here. Where is it? There is the 30th birthday. And maybe, maybe I'm looking at it already. I think it might be the 2020. Oh, no, no, no. There it is. Found it. Found it. This is this is the one we're probably going to start with. Uh, or we might start with the, the 2021. Um, okay, yeah. We were looking at it. So there's quite a few games in there. Like, Lynx Quest is really good. Kind of hope they do more with that. Um, anyways, there's a lot of really good games we're going to be looking at. So let's just uh, let's just get started. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. Let's, let's get started. So I showed this. Oh, I hit a button. I showed this a little bit yesterday. Let's see if I can do that here. I got so many cables tied in. Not running off of batteries, but yeah, it's just a VGA mod, modded Atari Lynx. Um, and basically you just hit the backlight button and it goes from the LCD, the new LCD, which is an awesome LCD, back to, uh, to the VGA output, which I'm just running on a big screen here um and we aren't gonna play assemblates well maybe we should play assemblates first one second i gotta adjust my microphone thinking about getting a new microphone here as well um i'm actually gonna i notice that there was oh no it sounds fine that there was uh, some humming on the microphone yesterday and so i want to make sure we don't have an issue with that so oh there it goes Plug that back in. Yeah, I I still have some modification to do to the VGA plug so I can actually make sure it's tight in really tight and I, that I can screw that I can lock it in with screws. So uh, maybe we should play this one first. It's a pretty cool game. This is one of the best ones of the 30th anniversary uh, collection, in my opinion. It's just a matching game. Let's see if I can remember how to play it. Uh oh. Crash. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so you just send the pieces to a box as they pop up. Bad move. <laughs> um, and you have to make sacrifices. Um, darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Oh, I guess. Oh, that's nice. When you complete, that works out. Pig head. Uh, there it is. So we got a full face there. We got the pig face. Um, you have to move kind of quickly. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. It's kind of a hard game. It's it's a simple game, but anyways, uh, I, I thought the artwork looked really good on this. Um, let's see. And that timer gets faster and faster down below. Hey, look at that. We're gonna do a bad move. Ugh. Add another one. Add another one. Stop giving me top lefts. Why is it doing that? <laughs> giving me nothing but top lefts. That was ridiculous. Oh, no, it looks like it has a QR code. My guess is that's probably for a high score thing. Um, let me see if I can find this really quick. We probably should have read the description on it first. Assemblies is a fast-paced action puzzler in, in arcade style. We find that one of the strengths of the Lynx are quick mobile games without much overhead and, and somewhat that you could pass around to family and friends to, uh, to compete. So, yeah, pretty simple. Let's play a few more rounds of that. Is there any music on your guys' end? 
I can't hear anything in mine. Oh yeah, there's a little bit. I don't know why I'm not hearing it. Let's see if I can find it here. Oh yeah. There it is. Hey, that's kind of an interesting song. Let me know if I need to turn the audio up anymore. I mean, I can monitor it here really quick. Pretty cool song. Don't want it up that high. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I really like that title screen too, with the palette fading, palette cycling. I guess that's what it's called. Something like that. Something like that. I don't know this too. Must be how... Oh, look at that. It has instructions. Assemble faces by fitting the pieces together. The more complete the faces, the more points you score. Clear the whole board for an extra life. Who? A prior art production based on the original game by Photon Storm. Now meet the team. Oh, look at that. They got pictures. <laughs> That's awesome. Martin Went, Camille... Wallen Kowiski. Sorry, I'm gonna. Oliver Lindau. And oh my goodness, I am on another game. Uh, Willy. Villy is working on another game. <laughs> Anyways, that's fun. This must be a difficulty level. This one, two, three. So let's let's go. Uh. Uh. Oh, I gotta get rid of that one. Ah. That's cool. The pig sound. <laughs> and the dog. Those sound like uh, raw samples. Um, which I imagine you might be able to do on a Lynx. It seems like there, there are some games that do do raw samples. I can't think of anything specific. Maybe Rampart? Oh, this is rough. Yeah, that is a cool song. I don't know if it's appropriate for this game, but it is awesome. Ugh. Let's get rid of some of these other faces. Really? Oh, look at that. Gave me a full face. <laughs> yeah, those sound like raw samples to me. So, need swapping to main screen. Sorry, I missed that comment, Matt. I'm not sure what you mean there. Oh, thanks. Yeah, sorry. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> Well, when I lose here again, I'll go back to that credit screen and show you that because that was pretty cool. That they went through all that effort. This is a just a nice looking game. Um, artwork's really nice. Oh, really? Like I don't even want to try to make full faces because it just. My guess is it's doing. Rather than a structured random, it's doing a pseudo-random thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> See? There's just nowhere I could put those without losing a life. 
Um, the way I like to think about it is like casinos, they do have a random factor, but there's quite a bit of structure to those machines. They can scale how random things are on each individual machine. and This just feels complete random, so, which I don't know, maybe makes it more interesting. And honestly, I don't know what you can pull off on the links in terms of, uh, well, I have an idea of what you can do in terms of storage, but relative to this game, I'm not sure what they had available to them in terms of space. Oh, whoops. Hey, we might get another full face here. Like, the way it's picking pieces, I don't see how you could... The chances of randomly getting a whole board are basically slim to none. It is checking to make sure you can play the place the piece somewhere, it seems. And so I guess the strategy see I <laughs> uh, that's frustrating. Whoops. Whoops. Oh uh there's another full face. Nice. It was a bird pig. <laughs> there we go. Finally gave me a piece I could use. It's nice. Yeah. Darn it. Of course. <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess you do get points for partials. I assume it's giving me points. I haven't really been paying close attention to that. Oh, darn it. I should have put that. Of course. Of course. I should have dropped it down. Uh, yeah, sure. Lizard creature dinosaur thing. Oh, I could have dropped that one down. We lost. I like how it goes black to white that like that. I've been adding that um this black uh, color to black and white. Because uh, most of my games are running 8-bit graphics, and so they're just looking at a 256 color uh, lookup table for their colors, and so easy to do fades. Um, anyways, when you hit pause in games, it'll go to it'll gray everything out, which is really cool. Um, I may do that for some game over sequences. Well, there isn't really a game over in there is a game over in Flappy McFur, but it's not as dramatic as this. And then in the Pong game, it's not quite. Um, I, uh, yeah, I guess I guess I could do a partial black and white. It'd be cool to do a partial black and white with the background and have something pop up or something. That that'd be cool. Anyways, uh, that's assembly. So let's try let's try something else. Yeah, sorry I didn't have that full screen. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. 
Okay, why isn't that showing up? See, I was worried about this. I was having issues with it not. Oh, no, my fault. User error. Have to make sure I change the output on the links when I do a cold boot. So, let's see here. So I actually wanted to start with Jam 2021, which, which is the most recent. There's some really fun ideas in here. Um, Banana Ghost. So this is interesting. It's basically pool, uh, but you're only playing with one ball. So you're this ghost, you walk around, and then you, you line up your ghost with the guy, and then you scare him into a door. That's the whole game. So these first few stages are pretty easy because you can just push him down like this down into the door but it slowly gets harder like this and he walks around so you have to <laughs> get used to him walking around or move him before he starts walking around it's fun though it's it's a neat little idea it's a new take on like pool <laughs> I think the further you're, you're away, the faster it pushes them, I think. Not entirely sure on that. It's a fun concept. Come on. Yeah. I think I've gotten to level... I, I played all these games a little bit yesterday to make sure that they loaded. Um, and I think I got to level 15. I imagine it starts getting really difficult later on. Oh no, you've completed enough levels to show this screen. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Never mind, that's it. Does he tell does he say how many levels there are? Well, that was that. <laughs> I was hoping that there would be a little like a uh, procedurally generated, like it would just go on forever or something. But uh the thing is about these jams is um they were often the the games are very very minimal because they're trying to get something out in time, um, and so and this happens to be one of those. I think that's a fun game. I think you could start. Uh, so you have the holes. You don't want the guy. Maybe I'll show that here really quick. So if you push him into a hole, he'll do this little spinny thing, and then it's just game over. <laughs> game over. You reach level one. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, so these games are often uh, minimum, uh, what I like to say, minimum viable product. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just to get the, the concept, the mechanics across, which makes sense for a game jam. So, yeah, he walks around eventually. Oh, uh, I didn't show this. So if you scare them, they bounce off the walls. Um, that's why I was saying it's kind of like pool. And so if he happens to bounce back, into a door you'll go to the next level but he's more than more than likely to hit a hole <laughs> like that so anyways fun concept um you could easily expand on this with uh, other obstacles um other things that scare him uh or scare the the person um what else could you do um you could do a mechanic where if you bump into a certain object it actually takes you back a level so you have to redo a level uh which would be interesting um what else could you do oh you could do lights off where it the lights are flickering uh on and off that you, you could easily do that on the links um what else uh you could do obstacles that change so for example like a pit with a bridge across it and the bridge connects for a time and then it disconnects basically like mini golf uh kind of things so it's a pretty a pretty uh simple idea but very attractive um anybody can pick up and play it really easily so yeah. why is that taking so long there we go there we go gotta remember to switch over to vga when it reboots so trying to keep an eye on the on the chat here usually it's right in front of me but my vcs is giving me a headache okay uh, so that was Banana Ghost. I don't know why the ghost is a banana, but whatever. This one is interesting. 
Um, I particularly don't like it. <laughs> so, you're this uh, Dracula character uh, trying to help this uh, lady character take a bath. <laughs> so it's a little risque. So, she tells you what you need to do. You need to start the fire. So if you walk over here, you'll see those logs highlight. Put a few of those down. Start heating it up. And so, Dracula down there, he's kind of... I think he has a different name. I can't remember. Uh, let me see. Well, let's just play. Um, he has another name. And this actually took me quite a while to figure out. You gotta make sure you don't put down too many logs because... Uh, You'll see there on the thermostat, there's a fire. You can actually start cooking her and she hops out and starts whipping you. <laughs> so, okay, so I need slime. And this is where you hop up, you turn into a bat, and you move over, and then you drop it. If I can remember how to drop it, I think it's A to drop. I can't remember, I screwed that one up. Go over here, start going down, and then, yeah. You, you have to hit a button to turn it into the slime, which looks like a, a snowflake for some reason. <laughs> Not sure why it's that way. Um, and then that number up in the top right, we have to do this 29 times. I don't know if there's any more mechanics for this game, to be honest. Um, there is a flapping mechanic, but I haven't been able to figure that one out. Um, not sure what that one's about. Um, honestly, I don't like the music a whole lot. <laughs> I don't think it's very good. Wait for him to walk over. Pick up the slime. Drop. Drop it. I'm pretty sure that's the whole game. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, there's really not much else to say here. Uh, it's a really simple game. Um, I don't know that we missed the jam. It might be a reference to the Lynx jam or something. Not sure. Grab this. Oh, I was over it. There we go. Maybe I need to figure out the flying mechanic with this because I was trying to beat this yesterday and I could not do it. And honestly, it didn't feel like it's worth my time. <laughs> Takes a while too. See, you're supposed to hit up and down to do the flap, but I can't get it so he, so he doesn't just fall. So, not sure what's going on with that. Yeah, I don't understand why it made me fall. It's weird. Definitely needs some polish. Needs uh, some adjustments to the mechanics, I think, to make it a little more interesting. Um, I honestly don't know what you would do. Um, maybe a little more control over Dracula at the bottom because he just auto walks left and right. It's kind of interesting. Come on. There we go. <laughs> and it needs a new song. I mean, the song is serviceable for a jam just so you have something playing in the background. But, uh, yeah, it's a little, a little rough. And it sounds a little familiar, to be honest. Um, yeah, I wish I knew how to flap. I'm not sure how to do that. I just want to see if I can beat it here. Oh, we need to add some more. I've been neglecting the fire. The issue I've had is I've run out of wood. And so, um, 
she gets cold and so the slime thing doesn't uh, ceases to become an option um, yeah I can't figure out that flying mechanic oh I did it how did I do that I don't even know how I did that. Ah, you have to go really fast. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, hopefully I don't cook her here. Ooh, that was close. Come on. Oh, darn it. I used the last log. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I don't think we won this time. <laughs> That's okay. I honestly don't care much for this game. I mean, it has an interesting presentation. Like, they obviously put some effort into it. Um, it looks good. Ah, oh, crap. She's going to get mad at me. She's going to get mad at me. Actually, I'm a little surprised she hasn't jumped out and started whipping me for trying to cook her yet maybe there's some not on me I dropped the slime on her <laughs> she got mad <laughs> uh, there's no way we're getting through 13 here that's okay we'll run the timer out. Ooh, there we go It's obviously designed for that slime to pop up at an inconvenient place in time. Um, which makes the game a little a little more interesting for sure. But yeah, she's going to start freezing here and she's just going to get mad at me. Let's see if we can get this last one before she does that. Yeah, she's, she's doing it. She's like, oh, it's too cold. <sighs> Anyways. Let's let this... Oh, yeah. It's freezing. She starts whipping you. Basically, that's the end. <laughs> Not much else to that game. Uh, what's the title of the game? Uh, it's called Bath Time, if I remember right. Let me. Um, or or Bathman. I think it's called Bathman. Let me uh, pull it up here. Um, downloads. Uh, I don't know why. Oh yeah, the thirtieth birthday was right there. Let me try to find it here again. One second. Should be the latest one. Or click the latest one. There we go. Yeah, it's called Bathman. <laughs> kind of a silly game. It's not terrible though. Get another game here. So you get that pop up. There it is. <sighs> Make will mod's pretty awesome. I like the the scan line option. It looks I mean it doesn't look exactly like the original link screen, but it's pretty pretty convincing. It just takes out every third line or something. Uh, so you have uh, the vertical scan lines. Um, and then on the VGA out it has this horiz horizontal scan line emulation. I I don't particularly like it. Um, it's there for those who like it. Okay, this one's called Black Pit. This one is interesting. Um, I think this is the most intriguing game. Um, so there's not much in the way of visuals on this one. Uh, but there is... Uh, oh, dataset user, good morning. I, I missed your chat. Uh, yeah, playing some links. We're playing on real hardware. Uh, which is which is always awesome. Sorry for the flashing. <laughs> so this one's called Black Pit. In this one, you have to rely on the audio quite a bit. Um, we're just going to do very easy here. So let me see what that looks like for you guys. 
going to turn it up just a little bit for you guys so you can hear it a little bit better. So you have a compass down at the bottom and then you have a timer, which I assume is how quickly you have to get out. And I, I, I th it's probably about a minute, if I had to imagine. And then if you hit um, option, option one, you have a map that populates here. And you don't have to wait for it every time, just towards the end. And so that white dot is you and you're supposed to get to those yellow dots. Um, so if we go east here, just and you just hit forward and you can't see anything. There's no visuals except for the map. Um, so if I, oh whoops, if I tell that to finish, there's a way to tell it to stop scanning. There we go. Um, and it shows you my position. And it doesn't pick up on every position as you walk through too. I thought that was interesting. Uh, if I point north here, so if I point north and go north, there should be another beeping sound. Yeah, you can kind of hear it there. Let's go south. Yeah, there's, you can hear that it, it's beeping. And that means I'm against a wall, which is the, the green stuff. So, yeah. So basically we just need to head east here. And just walk forward and then you hit a teleport which is which were the yellow dots so now if we look our map you'll see that we're in a new location so so let's just go south until we hit that wall look at our map again and I don't know if there's a cost for using the map um, go east I did play this a little bit yesterday so I kind of have an idea of where I'm going, at least for these first few teleports. Huh. I must be hitting a wall. Let's go northeast. Until we hit another wall. Uh, there's our other wall. Let's go north. I think it's up north here. Yeah, there we go. Um, I don't know, uh, and maybe somebody can tell me this, uh, if they've played this before. I wanted to do that. Um, let's go south. Um, if if this uses the stereo capabilities, it links to. So if you have headphones on, you can kind of not rely on the map quite as much. I need to see a little bit more of that map. Okay, I hit a wall down here. It's acting like I'm close. Another wall. Let's go west. Turn around and go west. Oh, killed by a monster. Apparently <laughs> something hunted me down. Anyways, that's a pretty cool game. Uh, it's, a, it's a neat idea. It seems like a good idea. Uh, if you're waiting for something for a while, this would be a really good game to play. Um... Man, I didn't even realize there would be a monster in that first level. It's kind of interesting. You probably have to get used to playing this just by uh, your hearing um, in order to avoid the monster to keep moving around and that kind of stuff. So, anyways, really cool. I like the glitch effects. It's kind of, uh, I know that's kind of a like, a like a Slender Man thing. It's been in vogue, at least has was in vogue at some point, but... Anyways, pretty cool game. Um, I don't know if there's any credits or anything inside the game, but let's move on. There's a lot of games we can go through if we want to. Well, any of you have uh, the Atari Lynx? Do you play it? Do you buy new games? I try to. I don't. I don't purchase every homebrew release on the Lynx. It seems like there's, uh, almost seems like there's a lot more happening on the Lynx in terms of homebrew. And with Atari Gamer, he's been uh, putting out quite a few um, actual physical cartridges of these homebrew releases. So if you want a physical release, you can do that. Um, 
I forgot to mention that you can you can download uh, all these games for free. They're all available for free, um, in one form or another. But yeah. So this one, I think, is uh, probably the most visually impressive uh, game for this Lynx Jam in 2021. It's pretty good. Kraken Dev. Those must be initials. Anyways, really go cool. Very well done intro screen. Um, I don't know who they got to do the art. Let's go take a look at that. You'll see that this is the artwork featured on the uh, for the jam. This is Crow. It's really cool. I don't know if they had that commissioned or if they just took that from some very good, regardless. Um, release type, developer, Alex Lord Kraken. Yeah, I don't see any more credits there. Yeah. Agile. Uh, looks like that is broken. You can also support these people on HIO by giving them a donation of some sort, which I believe I did for at least some of these. I don't know if I did for this one. Um, but yeah, there are no other credits. Maybe it was just Lord Kraken that did all the artwork on this. Very, uh, very beautiful artwork uh, if he did. So, anyways, this is kind of like Space Harrier. Um, My brother has a few. Ha <laughs> ha. Very funny, Bryce. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, though. This is, uh, I've been wanting to do this link scene for a long time. Oh. So it's using the scaling, uh, or not scaling capabilities, the skewing capabilities of the links to create a scaling effect. Um, really cool. And you're supposed to collect these boom these moonbeams, so these crescent moons, and avoid the skulls. Pretty simple concept. Um, and you have to collect, I think, 20 of them? Something like that. Quite a few. And it does get faster as it goes, uh, which does make it quite a bit difficult to get those last few because it's really left up to chance. Um, I've actually, I've never tried hitting these rocks. I should try hitting one of these rocks. Let's see if I can even do that. Uh, they're kind of off to the side right now. I uh, get it. Anyways, really cool looking. And it's it makes you wonder uh, why they didn't try getting that license from Sega to port um, Space Harrier. I think it's Sega that owns that one. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Space Harrier is a Sega game. I, uh, because it would have looked great on the Lynx. I think you could have done a reasonable port, port. You would have to simplify the graphics quite a bit to fit the resolution so they actually look good. Uh, but you could definitely do it. Um, something that's a little unfortunate about these Lynx jam, jam games is, and I need to go do some more research so I could be wrong. Um, but there hasn't been much work beyond these initial releases on these games, which is unfortunate because I think you could do a full game like this with um, minimal effort at this point. <laughs> you just uh, basically you do different sets of sprites for different enemies, maybe do some behavior, some AI behavior, which which is that's quite a bit of work actually. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, and then some boss battles. So, don't know if you can fit that all on a two, uh, 256k Lynx cartridge. <laughs> or 512. Uh, I think they can do 512 now. Which I believe is the limit on the Lynx. You can't do anything beyond 512. Unless you're streaming stuff off of the SD card reader. But um, Another cool thing is the uh, parallax effect going on here with the, with the background. Very cool. Oh, I hit a skull. Ugh. 
So it looks like I have four lives, and then I, I like this screen too. It's really simple, <laughs> it's a very, but it's attractive, and in its setup, it's very well done. So yeah, I really, really like this. Let's see here. We have ten more to go. Uh, I like the song too. I think it might be a little short, uh, but again, this is a Lynx Jam thing, and so they're probably looking to just get out something that looked that was playable and looked good um, and sounded decent. So, yeah, very, very nice looking game. Can you tell I'm impressed with it? Quite a bit faster here. We are getting close though. Getting very close to the end. I don't know why I'm a crow collecting moonbeams. Feels very 80s fantasy to me. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like it so much. Um, it's fun though. Come on, give me some more moonbeams. I need those moonbeams. I need them. I don't know why, but I need them. There's probably something symbolic with crows and the moon and stuff like that, some pagan or cult thing. This is what I meant by it being kind of random at the end, because those moons are moving so quickly that um, you kind of just have to be lucky that it pops up, it spawns near where you already are, and there's no skulls Ugh, like that one to kill ya. Two more! We just need two more. We're almost there. There's a little drop shadow on the crow as well. Nice little detail. Yeah, this is just really good. And you know, this isn't the first game to do something like this. Um, uh, Blue Lightning uh, is a great example of the scaling, this type of mode seven scaling, as they call it. Um, yeah, just very good. Thanks for playing. Uh, the death screen, just so you know, looks just like this. It just has different text, so. Edgar Allan Poe approved. Yeah, yeah. Hi, uh, Link's fun. Hey, Reboot, how you doing? Yeah, we're doing links today, uh, just going through some of the links jam stuff. There's been so much homebrew for this um, that I've been wanting to do this stream for a while. But anyways, this is just a solid game. Um, very simple, but solid. And it, it, I, I wish they would take this and just push it to a finished game, because I, I pay full price for this one. It's really cool looking. Um, cool looking, plays fun, because it's just Space Harrier at the end of the day. Um, just, uh, it's kind of like a third person, behind third person running gun. <laughs> I guess that's what you can call it, genre-wise. I don't know if that, it's a on-rail shooter, you might be able to call it that. But, um, don't know what genre that fits into, actually. So, um, yeah, do I, is there anything else I want to show? I kind of want to, just really quick, I want to try running into the terrain. I haven't actually done that, so you can go down to the bottom, but then there's these rocks on the side. Maybe you have to get a certain amount of... It looked like they got a little... Oh, oh we can hit that one. Oh, no. Yeah, it's just not going to let us hit it. So I don't know if you can hit the terrain. It does kind of narrow in as you collect more moonbeams, so maybe it becomes more of a problem as you have more moonbeams. Oh. Anyways. Okay, let's try another one. Let's switch back over to BGA. Okay. Sorrow. What is this one? I actually forgot what this one is. Oh, this is a uh, kind of like a Zelda uh, dungeon game. 
So I'm this little guy with hearts, like Zelda, and it's just room to room, which is cool, kind of like Zelda 1, without the scrolling animation. And you run up and you kill these zombies. And I think I did beat this yesterday, so let's see if I can do that again today. Um, so it doesn't keep a memory of which rooms you've cleared, um, which, w uh, which wouldn't be too hard. You just have to keep a few bits for each room, or you'd have to just mark a bit for each room that's cleared. And you wouldn't even have to keep track of every room. You could just keep track of the latest, like, ten rooms or five rooms or something. Um, and you just have it when you enter a new room. Oh, so you'd have to keep a, a few bits for that. For each room because oh how could you do that not sure because if you had an id for each room oh darn it i'm gonna get get my butt handed to me here pay attention there we go um yeah you could keep a if you had an id for each room so if you kept it under 256 rooms, you could keep a bite. You could have an ID for each room, for, for up to 256 rooms, which is more than enough for a game like this. Um, and then just a bit. The hit detection is a little <laughs> iffy on this. And you have to actually be pointing in the right direction, too. I don't... Man... I don't think you can hit them while you're invulnerable after you've been hit yourself. Uh, let's go up. Yeah, that's right. There's another key there. Yeah, so the rooms don't stay cleared, so you have to kill things twice. Oh, great. Two of these guys and zombies. And uh, slice two enemies at once, which is kind of cool. There we go. Let's try not to lose all my hearts. Yeah, there we go. Again, the song is very minimal on this. Uh, the graphics aren't bad, though. Um, I would have changed, like, his little walking animation. I think it's a little too fast. <laughs> Spazzing out a bit. I like how these zombies track you. It's fun. Very good, uh, like I said before, minimum viable product for something that could be polished and finished. I always wanted a game like this on the Lynx because um, I'm a huge, my favorite Zelda game is actually the original Game Boy Zelda. Um, and, and so having a Lynx growing up, I'm like, why can't, why isn't there a game like this on the Lynx? Because you had the original Zelda that came out, and uh, Lynx is more than capable uh, in handling type, that type of game. Um, something that wasn't available back then, or maybe it was available, it was just too expensive or something, was uh, some way of saving games. Um, which wasn't done on a mobile console until the Game Boy, I believe, with the battery backup stuff. Um, get the red key. <sighs> yeah, that hit detection sometimes doesn't feel quite on. Yeah, you cannot hit them while you're... <sighs> Hopefully we get another heart here. I'm really gonna need one. Oh, so you can hit them while you're invulnerable, huh? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see here. Done down and right. Let's go left. There it is. Ooh. Oh, good. There's another heart. <laughs> I 
hope I don't lose them all. <laughs> Man. Yeah. The hit detection could use some work. Um, it's serviceable. It just feels a little... Uh, it's... It, it, when you, it doesn't work as you would expect it to work visually. Like the visuals don't seem to line up with uh, the detection. Uh, I think we can get another heart here if I remember right. We are gonna need because uh, it was a pretty close. Ah, uh, crap! Gotcha. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. I gotta fight him again. Okay, there's the red door, which I believe is the boss battle, so... Yeah! Boom! And I can't hit him now. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, that hit detection is spotty. It's so weird. I don't even know how you'd pro program it to be that inconsistent. <laughs> I mean, it's just... I assume some sort of collision box, and so... There, and he's dead! No. Yeah, I, I think this is definitely a great start on a game. It looks nice. Love, love the graphics. Very simple. Programming by Ninjaba Pixels by Exofrenon, Exofrenon, Exofrenon. <laughs> music and sound effects by Spide FX. So, and obviously uh, the music could be worked on. Uh, the uh, the sound effects that we do have are pretty good. So, anyways, yeah, that's a fun one. I really enjoy that. I hope they finish it. Um, it'd be cool to get a full blown uh, Zelda type game, top down Zelda game, like that on the links. Um, I always imagined if I ever finish any of my Jag stuff that I would <laughs> go and <laughs> make a Zelda game for the Lynx. Um, fulfill that little childhood dream. Okay, the last one for the 2021 jam is called Zap. Um, and this one is a tower defense game, if I remember correctly. It's pretty good, too. Um, I... I can't get past the first level. Pretty difficult. It's a big one, too. This must be a 512. Or maybe it crashed on me. Shouldn't take that long to load. Let's try it one more time. I did play test this one. I know it does work. Unless my uh, SD card reader is dying, which is always a possibility. This is a, a one gig card, so it's an older one. Try it again. There we go. <laughs> Fun skin. This one looks like it was done by Atari Gamer. Let's make something scary. Can go by Igor Kroman, which I believe is Atari Gamer, if I remember right. Graphics inspired by. Oh. Elthin testing David Phillips and designed to run on Ben Ven LCD screen. So, uh, not this one. I do have another link set, it does have the Ben Ven screen in it. Um, I wonder what that means. I wonder if there's some high color stuff that the Ben Ven supports and the McWill screen doesn't. I'm not entirely sure. Or maybe there's extra pixels shown on these screens. I don't think that's the case. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why that is. It's interesting. So you have this bar, and as that bar fills it, you can place turrets. And so 
I like to let it get full and then I place a few turrets. But you'll see that to shoot bullets requires that energy too, so I can't place any more turrets. And so like this row of guys, I need to uh, build some energy back up so I can place a couple turrets. Let's do that one and that one. Oh, darn it, we missed it. Let's see if we can get another turret here. Yeah, and I don't even know how you would play, beat this game unless there's different turrets. Oh, there might be different turrets. I didn't check that. Oh yeah, look at that, there's different turrets. Pro probably for different enemy types. So Oh, yeah! What does this one do? Oh, that must be a chainsaw or something. Oh. See how this works. It's probably too late now. Oh, I can only put three of those? Really? Or they just slow them down. It must just slow them down. Okay. Getting this figured out. What's this one? What does that do? Oh, that allows you to build your energy faster. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. So let's build, see if we can, before we die here, build a couple of those and then Yeah, that's how you play this game. Cool. That is really awesome. Uh, we're going to have to start over now, now that I know how to play. <laughs> that's cool, though. So, yeah, we build these uh, rechargers. Build a couple of those. And then I'm going to build one of these. One of these. Yeah, we got this. And so you hit B to destroy a turret um, when you don't need it. That might be enough to cover this level, I don't know. Oh, these wear out, these generators. Ah, tricky. Kind of want to, yeah. This is going to get tricky here. Yeah, we're screwed. <laughs> no! I'm not going to let you take it. See, I wish you could just tell your turrets to stop shooting for a little bit. So you probably have to learn how to use some of the other weapons, that's my guess. And our, our, uh, yeah, our things, our regenerators are starting to wear out. Yeah, this is rough. Huh. That's cool. <laughs> this is a really fun game. I've always enjoyed tower defense games. They're good time wasters. I remember, um, 
Uh, one of my when Android first became a thing, one of my favorite games was just Tower Defense. Gosh, I wasted so much time on those games. <laughs> they were fun though. They're fun games. And you know, honestly, the Lynx is a great platform for that. I almost want to do one more round. Um, let's do that. So let's get some generators. Then Oh, so everything wears out in this. That's interesting. I wonder if I can get another generator. Oh yeah, I can do three. Sweet. It's starting to slow down a bit. <laughs> There's quite a bit, quite a bit happening on the screen. Ah, this is awesome. Now we're killing these things, killing them in style. to see if that laser gun is uh, worth our time. Let's wipe out some guys here. Because we're about to run out of energy on one of our towers. Recharge. Um, build. Oh, whoops. Did not want to do that. I wanted to build it here. figured out. guys down. Recharge. Of you. Replace you. There we go. Set another one of those up. Gosh, I almost want to just set up a bunch of these smaller turrets like this. And then, if I have a especially large horde that comes in, I can set up one of these bigger turrets. I want to try one of these lasers. Let's try that. Must go through the whole line, is my guess. It does damage to the whole line. Now well, we've almost hit a hundred. <laughs> cool. You know, and it doesn't slow down that much when you're. Uh, actually. Go. Oh, oh. 
Uh oh. We slowed down. That must mean there's a, an especially nasty group coming, or maybe a boss battle. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I hope it gets a little bit harder. Maybe because there's just one enemy type, it doesn't get any har harder than this. I've already broken the game. <laughs> this is a cool concept. I hope, uh, well, not a cool concept. It's a, They're just fun games. Um, it'd be nice to finish this game off and and have a, a good solid tower defense game on the links. I'd, I'd buy a physical copy of this one. Um, this this is a lot of fun. This is a good time waster. Anyways, um, maybe we should move on to the next one. I like I like the play field. I I like that the grid isn't perfectly straight. Uh, there's this nice angle to it. Um, very a neat little artistic detail. I wouldn't have thought thought to do that. That's really cool actually. Um, very simple, easy to read interface. Um, yeah, this is very good. This is this is fun. Obviously, you need more enemy types to change up the scenario a little bit because I think I already got this to a point where they're not going to get across unless I stop playing, basically. But yeah. Anyways, sound effects are good. It'd be cool to have a song, but maybe you can't do that. Maybe it's pushing it a little bit too hard. I don't know. Um, obviously, music in a game like this, you need several songs because sometimes you'll be sitting here for a while and you don't want to hear the same song over and over and over again. But um, anyways, yeah, this is really good. So, let's go on to the next one. That's I think that's everything for Lynx Jam 2021, so let's uh, move on to one of the other groups. Loading ROM list. Please stand by. Jam 2020. Let's see what we got here. Um, I don't know if I actually tested any of these. So hopefully they work. Um, let me pull up. Let's see if I can find. Yeah, I don't know if these are going to work or not. Oh, that one worked. That's good. 2020. Where are you? Somewhere back. Okay, Asteroid Chasers. This is actually a finished game now. I, I bought a physical copy of this from, I believe it's Songbird Productions is selling this one. Let me know if the audio's... It's a little loud on my end, that's why I'm asking if it's a little loud on yours. So, easy, basic, plus. Not sure, it looks like there's an achievement screen. First Blood. Need some help? Now you are a real gamer. Addicted? Oops, I did it again. I think that's a, what a Britney Spears reference. Only victory is important. Um, that sounds like a, a reference to the big thing. You shall not explode in 21 minutes. It was so close. Stupid is as stupid does. Stupid is as stupid does. That's a reference to a serial winner. One more kiss, dear DJ Sampo and Matt. Addicted, definitely. Definitively, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> Credits. Game by Fattest, based on Cheese Chasers, copyright by Brian McMillan. Brian McMillan. Options. Uh, background. Ooh, there's different backgrounds. Locked. Oh, locked backgrounds. Well, that's kind of fun. Music. Space lock theme. By Fattest. Well, that's fun. Classic fight by Rygar. Well, we're not doing core muse. I'm not that not too excited about that one. But these uh, that sounds kind of cool. You guys probably can't even hear that. One. Turn it up. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's some fun tracks here. Let's do this one. I assume it will play that during the game. <laughs> Tutorials on EEPROM. So this one has an EEPROM apparently. So Let's go ahead and give this a try. How to play. Your purpose is to place every tile of the game. Tile must be placed horizontally, vertically, or diagonally, touching, not covering the previously played tiles. Play proceeds until all tiles have been played or no moves remain. Okay. Oh, I guess there's probably more to that tutorial I should have taken a look. Um, hmm. There. I should have read the rest of the tutorial. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm placing things relative to things. Is this like a three of a kind game? Can't go any further that way. Can't go further that way. I can go that way. Well, it doesn't look like it's a three of a kind. So I'm not sure what's going on. I should have rest. <laughs> I didn't realize that there were pages to the tutorial. I should have read those. Uh, mines. Oh, help. Hey, I can pull up a help menu. That's cool. And it does it according to whatever object you have selected. Okay. The player, the end of the game. The player wins when all tiles are played. If no legal moves are available and all tiles are not yet played, the game is over. If three active mines are in the playing area, the game is over. Losing means a score of zero points for the game. Scoring system. I'm actually not too worried. Well, maybe I should be. An active probe gives one point. Asteroids give one point for each probe adjacent to one of its four sides. Um... Okay, at the end of the game, bonus is calculated. If an asteroid is surrounded by four active probes, it gives you 10 bo bonus points. If multiple asteroids are adjacent and surrounded on all sides, bonus is double. Asteroids, your goal is to set, um, your goal is to get the most fr from asteroids. Each asteroid adjacent to an active probe gives one point. Asteroid or ground Asteroid or ground of asteroids surrounded by active probes gives bonus points. Okay, so we're supposed to just surround asteroids with stuff, right? Probes. Probes are your main work units. They can mine asteroids, but also they can deactivate mines to extend play. Pirates attack your probe. Each probe adjacent to a pirate is deactivated. An, in an inactive probe gives zero points. Okay, so we get these pirates that we have to place every once in a while too. Mines. Mines are the biggest threat of the game. If three mines are active at the same time, you lose the game. The only way to deactivate it, uh, a mine is to surround it with four active probes. Okay, so that makes sense. Bigger asteroids. Oh, that's plus mode. We're not too worried about that. Okay, cool. And the help screen didn't clear out. Can I reset? I can, nope, can't reset that way. Yeah, all we can do is drop that. So, um, well, that's kind of cool. So it's just a matching game, essentially, but, um, I can't go any further that way. I'll do that. Oh, darn it, I should have gone over one more. Hmm. Burst Blood. New music unlocked. It was so close. Lose the game at the final card. Cool. We got another song. Let's go check it out. I don't know why it didn't select the song. Oh, it was lock. That's why. Space lock theme. So let's switch the song. Duh. The big lock sign should have told me that. <laughs> A 
Let's try that again now that we know how to play. Okay. So we got a probe we can place. I don't understand. Oh, we start out with a probe, it looks like. And so we have to place something, place something. So that's deactivated. And you can only place it relative to the last thing you placed, it looks like. Oh, it's giving me lots of pirates. Probe, probe, asteroid. Probe, asteroid. Oh, darn it, pirates. Uh, that would be suicide. So we have to place it. Uh, well, I'm screwed on this, apparently. Huh. Now, this is kind of a tricky game. I like it. Darn pirates. Go away. Oh, another mine. Definitely want to put it there. Don't want to put that there. Don't want to put that there. Ugh. Man, that's hard. I don't know how you're supposed to surround a mine. Unless you happen to get probes in your stack, your cards. That kind of sucks. And we're screwed. I think that ends. Yeah. Three active mines. Games played wins winning streak. So you have to get to the end of the deck too in order to actually gain points. Um, so you do have to disable at least m one mine, it sounds like. Oh, we're off to a great start. Oh, you can go, okay, that's, so that's how you do that. Is you can place things diagonally like that. Um, let's see here. Well, that doesn't help. Darn it, it's disabled because of the pirate. Uh, I wasted all that time. <laughs> um, okay, Let's see if we can do another mine. Let's see if we can disable it. Oh, darn it, uh, pirates disable everything adjacent. <laughs> so you can't put them in the corners. Uh, darn it. Oh, this is tricky. This is hard. I'm going to have to... Yeah, I pretty much made all those <laughs> probes useless. Uh, we're going to get that third mine and won't know what to do with ourselves. That's it. Yeah, you have to disable at least one mine. That's tough. That's a cool little game, though. Um, I'll have to bust out my actual version and play the full thing. But, yeah, that's really cool. I like it. That one is, again, available at Songbird, I believe, if you're interested in supporting that. Definitely try this little demo, though, that came out during this Lynx Jam. That was two years ago. Two years, Jam 2020. Okay, Minimal. I think this the name is Minimal on this one. Oh, CO is back. Ah, oh, that was a sample. Uh-oh, it looks like Samus. So what the heck, well, so it's not that. Sorry, I'm trying to find the, there it is, Lynx 2020 Programming Competition. 
Uh, continue? What happens when we hit continue? Oh, it just starts a new game. Oh, that's a cool, nice big sprite. Press up to enter the ship. Okay. Oh, I didn't know this was here. Can I save? System error. Exit, quit. Inventory. So nothing there. Sell. Nothing there. Looks like none of this is built yet. Minimal. Let's just start a new game. I like this. Uh, it's not quite one bit. It's like two bit color. Okay, we can jump. Very simple jump. And we can shoot. Okay, charge. What does option? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. <coughs> There's a pause, and our option doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, loading level one. Uh, cool. Got some platforming going on. Oh, wow, you can hold your jump button pretty long. Let's see if we can get over to here. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything beyond just the platforming. There hasn't been any, there haven't been any enemies yet. Clitchin seems to be working pretty good. Ooh, that block has eyes. What happens if we shoot it? Boom! Can we shoot that? Oh, there's some sound effects for the firing. So. We can shoot these blocks that have eyes. Don't know if we want to. We may not be able to get back up. <laughs> Let's walk over here. See what we got. Oh. oh can we shoot those blocks? Oh, they break, it looks like. Take three hits or something. Yep. So we can alter the environment a little bit. That's cool. This is a big tile map too, and the scrolling's not bad. Um, it's better than uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure on the links. Way better. Uh, not quite. Yeah, this is a really big tile map. I don't know if there's anything beyond this, so. I haven't seen any enemies. Man, this goes way down. Oh, maybe we hit the, maybe we got to the bottom. Oh, loading level three. Oh, so he does have kind of a, a world map thing going on here. Well, I am pretty impressed with this, like what with what they have so far. There's not really a game here yet. Um, it's just uh, a walking simulator, basically. Maybe there's a game here. Maybe there's puzzles. I just haven't noticed them yet. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Yeah, this uh, this really just kind of feels random right now. He's just built out some areas and shown he or she I don't know I'm just using he as a default here um, but uh, just as a proof of concept they have some things built in here oh. anyways looks nice uh, very readable imagine it's probably yeah it's really readable on a link screen high contrast and everything so yeah, this is cool. Um, cool uh, start, anyways, on something that could be awesome. Awesome in space. Let's see what else we have. Okay, 2020. Uh, Sybil's Nightmare. Okay, so I actually did some work on this, and I'll show you a little bit of 
extra stuff. Atari Gamer hasn't updated this game with the stuff I did that I worked on because I uh, wasn't able to get it done in time for the competition. Or maybe he asked me after the competition. But I did this placeholder artwork for the for the intro screen. Um, so let's play the game and I'll show you the actual finished artwork. I believe I have it on my, my SD card reader here. You have a gun, but no bullets. They're right behind you. Your only choice is to run. Mind the gaps. Any button to start. So this is kind of cool that we have uh, some parallax background scrolling on the links. That's always neat. And I died. <laughs> How do I jump? B. Uh, a is jetpack. Okay. And then and then we can just jump, which saves it on our jetpack. So. So uh, runners have become, uh, or did become pretty popular with mobile gaming, and so it's kind of cool to see another runner on the links. I, this might be the first runner on the links. I can't think of anything else. Uh, there is a Flappy Bird clone, so there is uh, that. Uh, that's technically a runner. Um, and there's actually a few homebrew runners, now that I think about it. There's a, a kind of like a Star Wars speeder game. Uh, that I've seen on the links. Um, oh, there's something wigging out on my links. Um, I'm not hitting a button, but it's... Oh, I think my palm is just hitting the... Oh, cool. Seamless transitions between between the stages. That's cool. Oh, darn it. I hit it a little too late. <laughs> Anyways, it's just a runner. I don't know how much time we want to spend on this. I'm actually not a huge fan of runners like this anyways. I find them just a little bit bland. Looks like this might be procedurally generated too because we haven't hit a single hole yet. And we're nearly halfway through the level. <laughs> there we go. Uh, hit it too late again. <laughs> I don't know why that jump feels delayed. I don't know if that's the VGA mod or if it's just me. It's probably just me. Okay, where are the holes? Let's see, now it's too early that time. Ah, just barely. Yeah. Oh, I needed to use my jetpack. So can I jump and then use? Oh yeah, I can. I can jump and then use my jetpack. Saves a little bit on fuel. So if we jump to our jetpack, oh, oh, nice. Um, it'd be cool if there was like a gun on this or something like a gun um, that you have to shoot. You hit both A and B or something to shoot your gun and to hit obstacles or just option or something. Oh, there's a pause on this. That's cool. Did it not make it back to the first level? I, I wasn't paying close enough attention. I think it did. Uh, sign curve jump would make it look a lot. Better. Yeah, it's it's a, definitely a linear movement right now. Um, get giving it a nice arc, right, with a sign curve. That would be cool. Yeah, it's a neat little concept, or not concept, neat little game, <laughs> based on a, a familiar concept. That's what I should say. Um, yeah, it's cool. Uh, it'd be cool to have the terrain go a little bit higher up and down. Oh, <laughs> there was a wall. You have to mine the wall. Anyways, uh, let me show you. I actually did finish the artwork for this, but he hasn't updated the ROM. Um, not sure why. I, I built out a little, um, program on the links so I could show him toggle between two different I think I had two different titles or something um, I think it's this one yeah so this was supposed to be the title screen again I finished a little bit late not his fault um, hopefully he'll update at some point but yeah I think I had this is yeah I had this this title which I kind of like feels uh, a little silly but it is harder to read um, and this one feels a little more straightforward on it but anyways yep. 
thanks data set user could use some enemies or something yeah that's what i was thinking they, they could he could expand with like obst destructible obstacles whether that's an actual enemy or just a wall or something be cool to do like glass and you shoot the glass and you have this cool little particle effect that sprays out or something also look great on the nintendo virtual boy oh yeah the virtual boy <laughs> that would be awesome it's the red color scheme right <laughs> How many shades of red could the Virtual Boy do? You can do at least four, right? Like the Game Boy. Okay, I don't know what this next one is. Let's see, I have a list pulled up here. Time Loop. This is probably Time Loop. It could be Titan as well. It's probably Time Loop. T I M E L O. And this one. I think won uh, something in the competition. Let's see here. Replay. Yeah, Time Loop got pretty high scores. So if you want to... Here, let me show you. So on the Atari Gamer website, he has... Oh, whoops. He has a, uh, a competition results page. And so you can go in. Uh, they did... This is raw score, aggregate score... And then replay, gameplay, implementation, creativity. And there's some subjectivity to these categories, but you'll always find that in competitions. Um, there's always some subjectivity for these creative judgments. <laughs> Anyways, um, and creativity, time loop was definitely off the chart. <laughs> Not quite off the chart, but close, close to it. Um, Anyways. <laughs> Let's uh, play a little bit. Future soccer against your past self. Let's see if I can remember how to play this. Just go over, you hit the ball, and then... Oh, I missed something. Yeah, so you, you play against yourself and you have to get the ball over and see I already lost. I think I've only played this once before, so give me... Give me some slack here. I'm trying to figure out. Ah, oh, darn it. If I can even get it to. <laughs> Game over. You couldn't even get it in the, in the in the net. There we go. There we go. So you do that. Play against yourself. Oh. Oh, darn it. Did I miss it? It's tough. It's a tough game. The first one. And I assume you're supposed to walk the character off. You're basically planning for the future, right? Nice. There we go. Yeah, get away. Let's see if I can get it. Come on. Oh, darn it, missed it. It's a rough game. It's a neat idea though. <laughs> Hey, 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 do that. Sure, why not? It's kind of hard to do diagonals on a Lynx. Um, yeah, it's close. Ah, so close. Darn it. Can't even get to the first first stage. We'll get this. There we go. Just got to get used to doing that. Um, ha! <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> it's, it's cool to see uh, your past selves playing. It's almost like the game builds itself over time. Oh, that was weird. Felt like was, oh, you can move fast. That's cool. That's gonna kick me in the butt later <laughs> probably gonna cause some real trouble for myself there we go ah, ah, run around <laughs> loop four ah. come on you can do it 
Yeah, got it. <laughs> now that I know I can move fast, that changes things. Oh, man. Come on. Shoot. Oh, darn it. <laughs> That's fun. That's a fun game. It really starts once you get past that third loop. It starts feeling like you're playing a game of soccer. It's awesome. <laughs> That's really going to screw me over later, I think. Oh, darn it. Darn it. Ah, man. <laughs> it's rough. I like the song, too. Classic. Works. Works for something like this. Anyways, enough of that. That one's fun. You can probably get pretty darn good at that if you start memorizing what you're doing and game's probably pretty exploitable actually well no no no, no. the 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 um goals change position so i don't think you can entirely exploit it whoops there we go <clears throat> oh wow it's almost eight o'clock already uh let's see if we can get through the rest of 2020 there's quite a few here titan titan Seemed like Titan was kind of overall. Oh, it's overall fourth place, fifth place on this one. So hopefully it'll load. Sometimes these games won't load. Titan, Moon of Saturn, twenty forty. Oh, we have an intro here. Oh, this is cool. Nice, nice use of scaling. We're getting closer to Saturn, and I assume that's Titan up in the top right in our little spaceship. NASA discovered a mind-boggling space-time quantum crystal that can have many shapes at the same time. As the crystal does not need any energy to change states, it is the ultimate building block for a quantum supercomputer. The first probe on Titan hinted that there may be space-time crystals on the planet. The distance is too long for manned missions, so NASA decided to build an artificial intelligence drone for fetching the space-time crystals. The only problem was that the weight of this artificial intelligence brain is critical. A mouse brain is not clever enough. A physicist's brain weighs too much. But a gamer, like you, has a brain just small enough for the drone. Aww. <laughs> After a little uh, persuasion, they scanned your brain and built an exact replica and launched the spacecraft towards the Titan. The trip there takes many years. Time passes. Now, in year 2040, your spacecraft is finally approaching Titan. It is time to show the world that your brain can handle a simple task. A simple task of picking up a few rocks and taking them back home. It should be taking. Oh, cool. Boom. Hey, that's cool. Those reflect. Do they break? Nope. Oh, yeah, they do break. Cool. <clears throat> so a scrolling shooter of some sort. Oh, I probably should have done the bottom one. I assume I'm supposed to blow these up. Looks like this is using the Dawnbringer palette, which is a common 16 color palette popular one looks nice I assume this is a wall oh no it's not a wall oh I can shoot I can shoot these so they bounce yeah my guess is that bouncing mechanic becomes very useful later on in the game hey we have layers too that's cool. I imagine there will probably be some more collision in the game later on. <gasps> There's our crystal. Did I just blow it up? <laughs> I may have just blow blown it up. Uh, very nice scaling on Saturn. Yeah, that, that was cool in the intro. What are these? Uh, nothing apparently 
Whoa! Those spider creatures! Don't know what they are, but I don't want them to hit me. Oh, we can go back. That's cool. Song is a little minimal. <laughs> but better than nothing, for sure. Moving on, moving on. Oh, is that water? Can I fall in the water? Yeah, it looks like there's... Yeah, it doesn't have any of that implemented yet. I'm hitting nothing. Hitting nothing. Yeah, I imagine this would be pretty tricky once they add collisions in for the environment. Because I'd have to be backing up and... Destroy these. Boom! Oh! I hit it and I broke! Does that happen? Oh, that happens immediately. You can't even touch that. Huh. Interesting. Oh, it falls down. Is it tracking me? What's it doing? Huh. Interesting. So you can hold the fire button down, um, but it fires a little bit faster if you tap it. Well, I don't know if there's much else to see on this one. It's uh, kind of very minimal. Um, looks nice. Uh, looks like you got a cool little shooter in the works. Anyways. Yeah, time to move on. There's not much else to show there. It has a cool intro. <laughs> and it has uh, what could potentially be a nice looking and fun to play game. It does have a loop, so it's technically a game. You can die and um, you can destroy things. So, Okay, last one and then we're going to call it a stream. So this one was the top rated game on the in the competition um overall it was not uh the top in every category but no that's fun shmup 2 and i believe you can purchase this one as well from songbird so this is a finished game uh now but this this is obviously just going to be a uh, demo of that links code Design. Oh, that's a fun little title thing. Anyways, quite a few people working on this to get it done. I like that song. Um, let me make sure you guys can hear that. Very good song. Very well done. Um, Man, good music goes a long way. Okay, let's uh, try this one out. Oh, fun little anime aesthetic. Uh, go! I don't know what we're going to. Ah, it's a puzzle game. Um, and I'm dead. <laughs> that was quick. Sad. Oh. Go! Oh, I'm just supposed to go from one platform to another platform. So, this there are other games like this. I can't think of any names right now, but um, there are games like this. You're supposed to. You're probably just supposed to get rid of all the tiles. Um, oh, whoops! I waited. I was too busy trying to figure that out. Let's see if I can do it here. Oh yeah, neat little puzzle game. Graphics are really good. Uh, definitely feels like a finished game. It has scoreboards and a password system, it looks like. Um, there we go. Good. 
good. Are there different... Uh, is it like a grade? Oh, I technically could have just gone... Oh, whoops. Too far. <laughs> whoops. Sad. Aww. Oh, she's crying. Game over. And her little robot is broken. Oh, no. Enter your name. So there's a high score system. That's cool. That must mean that there's an EE prom of some sort. Let's try again. And then we'll call it a stream. Really like the way this game looks, so... Puzzle games are really good on the links. Definitely the platform for puzzle games, just like the Game Boy. Go! Done. Top notch. Top notch. Top of the shelf. Yeah, so there definitely is a grading system of some sort. That's why there's the different um, congratulatory messages, um, depending on how quickly you finish. There we go. I'm not going to fall off this time. Uh, I have to go over them twice. Yeah, so the goal is to just get rid of all the tiles. Sensation! Sensational. <laughs> uh, the song definitely isn't as good. Oh, whoops. <laughs> poor. So not sad, but poor. Let's see here. Um. Oh, darn it. We're dead again. Icky. <laughs> That's funny. One more life. See if we can do this. I'm going to go this way and that way. And then up. Ace. Ah. I don't know what that line means. Oh, I probably can't. Yeah, they're walls. Uh, oh, I should have just kept going. Bummer. Do I get another chance? Oh, I do. Good. Get this one. Go around. And I'm dead. <laughs> There's something else I have to do there. I probably just need to go back. Let's see. Oh, whoops. Too far. Uh, that might be it. That may be my last life. Oh, no. I got one more. Let's do this. Or two more. I have two more lives. I must have picked up some extra lives or something. There we go. If I can finish it in time. Nice. Got it. Cool. Clear bonus, time bonus, flawless bonus. Um, looks like we have to hit all that last. So let's go this way. Ah, crap. I should have gone. Ah, darn it. <laughs> I should have gone over to the to the orange line. So go around like that for the orange line go across like that and then across like that nice ace okay I should probably stop I, I was hoping I would die again but it looks like I'm doing well enough that I don't have to worry about it well, this one's gonna be a bit trickier or not. Ah, darn it. Went too far. <laughs> Gotta be careful how many times you tap that button. Oh, 
Oh, shit, I made her cry again. It makes me feel so sad. Anyways. Okay, I think we're done. We'll let her, uh... Oh, no, we'll just let that background go for a bit. Anyways. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that was enjoyable. We'll do more of those in the future. There's plenty of games to look at. I can do another four hours of that if I wanted to. So, <laughs> I have enough games on there. Um, but I also want to play some, uh, released... Uh, recently released homebrew or recent recent homebrew releases. I think there's some that don't have demos. Uh, for example, there's Unnamed, which uh, I believe has an EE prom, and it's kind of a it's a top-down point-and-click adventure. Basically, it's a item puzzle game with a big environment. And it has a little bit of a story going on. Um, anyways, yeah, I definitely like to play that on stream. A little bit of that. What else? Um, I would like to, it'd be cool to do some multiplayer. The issue is it's streaming all the inputs at once. Um, I believe there's an emulator out there that supports multiplayer, so maybe I'll take a look at that. It'd be cool to do uh, Xenophobe and Battle Wheels. Um, what else? Be a good multiplayer. Uh, Warbirds would be a fun one to stream um, with somebody. Maybe I can get my brother Bryce on and we could do that at some point. Um, Anyways, yeah, there's. I, I want to do some more Lynx streams in the future. Uh, that will definitely happen. I don't know how often. I'll probably keep it to like once a quarter or something. Uh, I want to stick to the Jag mostly, but but there's just there's so much coming out on the Lynx that there's definitely uh, uh, reason to spend some time with it. But anyways, uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, next week we'll be jumping back to reprogramming uh, my Portland Retro Gaming Expo from 2018. Uh, we were almost done with the intro card, <laughs> so in fact, I may spend some time on that sometime this week to get the background finished for that intro card so we can just move on to the next card, see if we want to update anything here. I imagine there's probably two more streams in that, at least maybe three. Um, I would like to finish it up uh, next week, and so maybe I will spend a little bit of time here off stream to make sure that I can do that, but anyways, look forward to that next week. Uh, have a great day. Have a great week. Um, find some time to play some Lynx if you have one, um, and some Jaguar if you have that as well. So, anyways, we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.